Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it is Bitcoin J with Bitcoin Daily. I am back with you guys today, another day, another dollar. You know how it is. Uh, today we are going over, we're doing some Q&As today. So uh, I asked you guys yesterday on uh, Instagram, asked you guys, um, you know, to ask any questions and I was going to feature it uh, on the video. I don't know if I said I was going to feature it on the video. I don't know. I said something about that, something like that though. Um, so we, we actually we didn't get that many questions so we're only gonna do about 10 questions um, you know there are other questions that I could answer from the ones that we received um, and yeah let's, let's jump right into it man I don't want to make this video too long um, first let's uh, talk real quick about uh, let's do the giveaway I told you guys yesterday if you guys saw the video yesterday I told you um, I was going to uh, do a giveaway on this video regardless of the amount of likes it had so uh, on yesterday's video so let's check that out let's just go straight into the comments and uh, from what I see in the comments we didn't get that many we only got one person really um, Ralph Meek you were close but you got you got to follow us on twitch man if you don't follow us on twitch you can't you know you can't uh, you can't win so uh, Dave89, I'm already a follower on all of your accounts, IG, YouTube, and Twitch. So Dave89, you are our winner today. Uh, make sure to send us a DM on Instagram at Bitcoin.Daily and we'll get you set up. Congrats, Dave89. Uh, we will do this again today. Um, so participate, guys, because we're doing giveaways. You, you got to be watching. You got to be participating, though. All right, so uh, let's jump right into the Q and A. All right, so our first question was from Miro Vanini. Miro Vanini, am I saying it right? Miro Vanini. All right, Miro. He asked, if you would create a coin, how would you call it? Um, Bitcoin Daily Coin. I don't know, man. <laughs> not not really something that I thought about uh, I don't have any plans on creating a coin so um, it would just be called Bitcoin daily my man my man let's go to the next one Larry Mendel's Mendel 122 which legit site to trade my Bitcoin and earn more um, so it all depends mostly on where you're located um, and what type of trading you're trying to do what we do we use bitmex for leverage trading and we also use bybit for leverage trading now on those you're only going to be able to to um, trade a minimum amount of coins but you're trading them all with leverage um, we we like to trade with leverage so that's what we use mostly um, another another one you can use is binance um, well, Bybit and BitMEX, if you're in the US, you won't be able to unless you use a VPN. Um, Binance, some US uh, states can use it. Uh, I think the rest of the country should be able to use Binance. Um, Qcoin, there's uh, Bittrex, there's, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of different sites where you can trade. Okay, now when you say earn more, it kind of raises flags for me. Um, because now it sounds like you're asking for a scammer to tell you to give him one, you know, a thousand dollars and he'll turn your thousand dollars into ten thousand dollars in 24 hours. So you got to be careful. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. So be careful what you're, what you're trying to get at. If you're looking to turn a hundred dollars into ten thousand dollars, that doesn't exist. Stop looking for it. It's not going to happen. All right, let's jump to the next question. Um, what is DeFi? So I've been getting this question a lot now. It's not a simple answer. Um, I mean, basically, DeFi means decentralized finance. Okay, so it's the opposite of centralized finance. What centralized finance? You know, banks and basically everything that we deal with on our day to day. Uh, basically, the the goal of decentral a uh, decentralized uh, finance of that that whole movement right now, it's uh, to give you an alternative to um, like every financial service that you use today. For example, like a uh, a savings account, a loans, uh, you know, to take out loans, um, trading, uh, insurance, um, and a, a lot more stuff. So that's basically what DeFi is. Uh, there's coins basically being built around this whole DeFi movement. 
where they offer all these different uh, options and alternative alternatives to you know a CFI, which is centralized financial system. Um, so we will make a more in-depth video on this because we have been getting this question a lot. But just to answer this question and to make this as simple and easy as possible to understand, uh, it's an alternative to to every financial service that you use today. All right, um, let's jump to the next one. When did you first hear about Bitcoin? So I think the first time I heard about Bitcoin was probably around 2011, maybe 2012. But at the time, unfortunately, I didn't really get it. I didn't understand it. And I mean, I only spent like five minutes looking through it. Uh, I think I had come across a story of a 13 year old kid that was mining Bitcoin and became a millionaire basically. Uh, so I started looking at into it, but I didn't quite under, I didn't quite get it. And I, I said to myself, you know, uh, you know, I'll put more time into learning this some other time. And I just never did until later, later on around 2015, probably. Uh, 2015 and 16 which is when I got when I, when I once again picked up Bitcoin and I, I picked it up kind of by mistake um, I was trying to get on Bovada uh, which is a basically a gambling site I was, I was trying to do a sports betting and my credit card would not go through the company my bank wouldn't allow it so I had to, the only way for me to put money in was through was using Bitcoin so um so i had to figure out finally how to open up a wallet you know how to buy bitcoin and how to move bitcoin from one account to the other from wallet one wallet to the other um and that's kind of how i got into uh bitcoin because i had left some money in my wallet and that i left like maybe like 50 dollars in my wallet and the 50 dollars in like a month or two turned into like 250 dollars and I was like super confused. I was like, what in the world just happened? So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how I got into Bitcoin. I wish I would have got in when I first heard about it though. Um, I think I ended up buying my first Bitcoin that I bought was probably around $500 in that range. Um, so let's jump to the next one. BTC, go more up or down? This is from, oh, Hold on, I didn't even call this guy. I didn't shout out his name. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Okay, I said I, t I said Larry. All right, this is Arch. Arch Rupinder Kelsey. All right, let's try that again. Arch Rupinder Rupinder Kelsey. Uh, <laughs> Arch Rupinder Rupinder Kelsey. Rupinder Kelsey. Arch Rupinder Kelsey. There we go. Got it. Got it. Uh, Carry Mao. Carry Mao. Carry Mao. Carry. Carry my own O2. I feel like I got that one. Uh, and then this one, Masood Esfandiari. Masood Esfandiari. Mas Masood or Masoud Esfandiari. I I know I butchered all these names and I'm sorry if I said them wrong, but I tried my hardest and that's what count. I gave it all. I gave it my all. Gave it my best. Um, so I hope you appreciate that. All right. My bad, Masood. Um, so BTC go more up or more down? Now let's pull up the chart real quick, and I'm gonna make this real quick. Um, if you look at the chart, even though we are, oh wait, this is ETH, wrong one. So here's the chart. There's the daily chart, and you'll see that we're still in a bull flag pattern. Okay, this is still a bull flag pattern. We had this same thing down here. Look at this. Look at this all the way up. And it just bounced around for a while before it took off. Boom. And look, this is only the beginning of this. Like, this is up to basically here. We still got all this to go if it was is copying the same thing. So if we're looking at this and comparing it to this one, we would say that this candle right here is very similar to this candle right here, right? Um, so that's kind of where we are. Um, I feel like we can still bounce around here and then we have an ascending trend line up here um, where we can possibly hopefully get some support to help us break over 12k. So 12k is where we're having issues. We got rejected again there um, yesterday. So hope that answered your question. 
Um, I feel like it could go more up, but we need to get over 12k. That's what's stopping us right now. Um, next question. Santi Kalani. Santi Kalani. Santi Kalani. I think I said that right, right? Santi. Did I say it right, Santi? All right. Best trading platform. Again, same as um, what I said before. The ones that I use personally are um, BitMEX and Bybit. I have referral links to them in the description um, if you guys want to use it I think if you use the BitMEX one you get uh, like half your fees off uh, a discount on your trading fees off for like six months if you use Bybit I think you get like uh, $50 or something like that a bonus if you deposit like a certain amount of uh, Bitcoin um, but yeah, so I use both of those because I trade with leverage. I love leverage. I love to leverage my money. That's just how I trade. Um, and then um, you can also use Binance. Uh, it's another option. Um, Qcoin is another option that I've used before. I've used Bittrex before. Um, I've used a lot of different exchanges, um, but those are the main ones. Uh, also Coinbase Pro if you're in the US. If you're not in the US, and that's not an option. Um, all right, next one. Oh, Santi again. Damn, Santi. Appreciate your your two questions. Will bitcoins will bitcoins be daily used in a few years by everyone? Um, I feel like we're getting to that point. I really do feel it that way. Um, we we've been getting more and more uh, debit card type of uh things. Uh, there's there's several co uh, companies at this point that offer credit cards and debit cards where you can use your um, basically your Bitcoin to pay for stuff. So you use it just like a debit or credit card. You go wherever it is you want to buy something and you just charge it to the card. The card then takes the Bitcoin out of, of your wallet and that's how you pay for stuff. So it's already in the market. You can already basically use it to, to pay for whatever you want anywhere. Um, now being used by everyone that's something you know that's still years away um, because basically in order for that to happen we have to take down the entire centralized financial system so um, so yeah so we're still definitely ways away but we're making progress every single day so um, thank you for your two questions appreciate it uh, JS Monus J JS Monus um, thank you, my good sir. That's one hell of a beer you're rocking there. Uh, why ETH rocketing higher than BTC? Uh, so let's take a look at ETH. Uh, boom, let's go over to ETH. As you can see, we had a bull flag, boom, popped off. And then it kind of went right back down to the same entry where, where the bull flag was took off again um, and now we're kind of it looks like we might retest the 420 support area um, and we if it doesn't hold then we'll retest 400 if that doesn't hold then we'll be right back to where we started which is uh, 380 um, why is it rocketing it's I don't think it's rocketing more I think it's kind of on par with what Bitcoin's doing it just depends on what day it is that you look at it um, it they're, they're pretty much uh, very correlated right now. So anything Bitcoin does, ETH is pretty much following it. Also, uh, another reason for Bitcoin's price going up a lot as well is the uh, DeFi movement, uh, decentralized finance. Um, it's basically the majority of it is built and run on Ethereum. So it's a it's a big so that that's going to add to its price as well. All right, so I hope that answered your question. And the reason that this this went up like this is because we had a breakout here. Uh, the breakout was 450. Boom! If you guys watched our last uh, yesterday's uh, video, you'll see that we traded that breakout entry, uh, and we also gave it. We we traded it on live on stream. So if you were if you watched this live on stream, you would have been able to enter that and made some money on there. Uh, we were able to ride that basically to 490, almost 500, which is exactly what I called uh, live on stream that day. Um, all right, let's jump to the next one. Did you guys predicted in your paid group Ethereum? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot. Did we talk? Yeah, we, we, we spoke. We gave a shout out to JS Manus. Now, 
Yasin BK or Yasineb. It's either Yasin BK or Yasineb. I don't know which one, man. But uh, Yasi, amazing hair, bro. What conditioner do you use, dude? Because that is just amazing volume on that hair right there. Um, he says, did you guys predict in your paid group Ethereum to go up like that? So you tell me. I'm, I'm about to show you our a signal from our VIP group. You see here, VIP signals. This is our trade group. You'll see here, Bitcoin J. That's me on 831 it doesn't say the time unfortunately but uh that was that morning i said eth breakout entry entry above 450 dollars stop under 450 the targets 460 480 500 then again uh at 156 a.m i i wrote i updated it breakout entry triggered so that was for the eth trade and then here you can see eth trade target profit take profits one done take profits two done so we hit both of our profits on here and we almost hit our third uh, so we were definitely able to collect profits there we we were able to ride that breakout and make some money if you guys saw our video we made um, $302 on our challenge um, uh, account that we have that we're doing that we're trying to grow an account from 0.1 Bitcoin to to an entire Bitcoin. Um, so thank you for your message, Jasin. Amazing here, dude. Uh, Adnan Tahers. Ad Adnan Ad Aden Adnan Tahers Ter Ter. I don't know, man. Um, love this picture. What is it? What are you? Some type of model? I love that view back there with the mountains and the lake, man. That is sick, dude. Where is that? Um, so he says cryptocurrency versus stock slash indices. Which one is better for trading? So um, this one is all dependent. It's all personal preference. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. Um, it's just on you really. Um, for trading, we make more day trades on uh, in the stock market. Um, basically because we, we trade we trade leverage there as well and there's a lot more uh, daily news and um, events that that push it around a bit more uh, for options trading so we're able to to capitalize on that more while day trading and scalp trading um, but you can you can do we do the same thing with cryptocurrency we just we don't trade uh, day trade and scalp as much as we do in the stock market um, but it's all personal preference um, you know the, the safer option uh, it will be the stock market um, you know you can't get hacked and stuff like that uh, I've been in the crypto market for about five six years five six years I've never been hacked I'm just saying that that's always a possibility um, but yeah, so it's all dependent. You know, everything's long term, though. You, you always have to be thinking it in it long term. I would say, you know, uh, put your put some of your portfolio in in both and see what you prefer to do. You know, what what do, what you like better, what you see more profitable for you and and, you know, use it like that. But I definitely uh, say that you should at least have some uh, exposure in both cryptocurrency and the stock market. Uh, we trade both of them. Uh, next one. Thank. Oh, but thank you again, Aiden. 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 I can't even say it, man. I'm sorry. Uh, Ralph Meek. Are you only day trader or also scalper? I do both. I day trade. I scalp. I also. So it's day trading. There's scalping. There's also um, swing trading. I do swing trading all the time. Uh, and and long-term positions where you just hold you know for long-term investments where you don't plan to sell at all um, Ralph uh, Amazing picture by the way. What are, are you diving or something like that? It looks awesome, dude that the water and all that's beautiful um, Yeah, man, I, I do all of them. I do a little bit of everything I think you, you need to have your portfolio and be able to, to do everything uh, I think that's what will make a, a overall great trader overall 
and build, just to have uh, and build your portfolio overall. Uh, and I think this is the last question of the from what we picked out. Um, are there any discounts for the, the first month for the trading room? Yes, there is discounts. Um, lazy freak. Oh, lazy freak. I see you getting freaky right there while being lazy. Now I see where you get your name from. Uh, lazy freak. Yeah. Uh, if you want, whoever whoever wants a discount for the first first month, if you guys want to try out our, our trade room for one month, uh, and you want a discount, we can give you a 25% discount on your first month. Um, so just send us a DM on Instagram, uh, Bitcoin Daily, and we will send you the code and the link to get signed up with the discount of 25% off. Um, that's basically it guys those are all the questions um, the last thing we got left to do is a question of the day all right so you guys know the drill uh, question of the day every video we will have a random question about something in a video the question is always in some in a random area of the video find a question and find an answer post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month membership to our trading room winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 30 likes Good luck. Now, we're doing the same thing we did yesterday. Regardless of the amount of likes, we are going to do a giveaway on this video. Okay? Um, so, the question of the day is, are you following us on IG, YouTube, and Twitch yet? Again, this is very simple. If you weren't, then do so and then let us know you followed us uh, in all three. Let us know in the comments. Follow us on all three, and you are eligible to um, to win the question of the day giveaway. All right. Make sure you have to like the video. You have to leave a comment. Well, you have to like the video first. You have to make sure to follow us on YouTube first. Then you have to follow us on. Make sure you're following us on Instagram and Twitch. Um, then leave a comment in the comment section with your name on each one. Because we're we're we're, we're going to be checking to make sure that you guys are following us everywhere. Uh, we're trying to get we're trying to build up the the fan base, guys. So uh, we need your support. Without you, we can't do it. You know. So uh, we appreciate those who are already following. Um, and if you want to enter the giveaway, just just drop it in the comments. And that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy your day. It is what day is it here? It is Hump Day? Yeah, it's Wednesday over here. It is the middle of the day. About to grab some lunch. I have a stiff neck. I might grab a massage as well. Um, and then get back to trading. Uh, so that's basically it, guys. Peace and love as always.